So, once again, we're on this uh, chainsaw. It seems um, I beat up. What I thought I'd done something uh, good with the 345, but it turns out I didn't. Now let me explain. I had the oil pump worm, the uh, the three that's the three forty five one. I had that one, and it was a bit melty. So what I did was, if I can find the thing. It was just here. Huh. Curious. Anyways, I thought I'd done something smart and used the. Here it is looking at me. I thought I'd done something smart and used that one. Not bothering to uh, check what thickness they are. It turns out that that one was a different thickness to that one. That one was originally on the uh, 345. That one no, I got that wrong too. That one was originally on the 345. I took that off because it was all melty. I fitted that because it was in better condition. Was. Not looking at the, uh, as I said, not looking at the thicknesses. So... Not only have I mucked up the uh, the drive, but I've also mucked up a perfectly good oil pump drive worm. So I have cleaned that up, and that still seems to be okay. I've just taken off the burn parts. I'm going to fit that for now and later on get a another worm gear. That's for the 345. The proof will be in the pudding, I guess, if it pumps oil once this new pump comes in. Uh, so, what I've done, I've had my glass plate out and I have gone and uh, ground the, uh, put a bit of sandpaper down and ground this down until it suited that. Until it suited that size there. So that now fits on here so I will get organized here and come back to you so that this here is just a piece of sheet glass I put it on my bench make sure it's flat and I can uh, make sure the uh, make sure the cases are flat and ground down. So I'll put that down there. So so this now fits. Could probably do with a touch more. 
just a touch, but then you put that on. Now that there fits into there. And it fits quite well. So that comes off. Right. So now that fits quite well. So I'm happy with that. That goes back on there. That will go on there. Now that turns. Right. As I said, the proof will be in the pudding as to whether it actually drives the pump. So, I'll tighten this up. Alright, just finger tight. And now you'll see the clutch drum actually turns. I can turn it over and the clutch drum turns. So, I'm happy with that. That's, uh... Yeah, a big muck up on my part. So, so that uh, I have to get this pump in and fit it to the 345. Uh, get the 345 actually up and running. But now I can get this one. I've got a bar for it. I've already got a bar. I just need to get a chain. So now I can actually get a saw, a running saw, out of this one. Uh, so that's going to be my next project, is to block off the exhaust, carburetor off, and put a fitting in the, um, block off the intake, and put my uh, vacuum test in the, in the, um, in it and see if it'll work if it has any vacuum if it passes a vacuum test pressure test etc so but yeah i just thought i'd let you guys know that seemed to be the issue so now that goes and that runs so but i'll have to get this running properly to actually check to see if it pumps oil i'm pretty sure it will everything else checked out i um used used my measuring calipers to to make sure everything worked out yeah so everything seemed to be Okay, there, and I ground that down to that size. So, so yeah, there we go. It's yeah, a bit of a muck up on my part, but well, it's cost a bit of money to fix. But hey, we all learn, I guess. So, all right, everybody. I'll see you on the next video.